Hello and welcome to a Skyrim video. Now, it occurred to me, and as far as I'm aware, there are no Skyrim videos on my channel. And bearing in mind my name is Dr. Dover Kin, I thought I should probably make one at some point. And this was a video that came to me because I thought it's a secret location in Labyrinthian that took me years to find, and I've been playing the game since release. I mean, I found it a few years ago, obviously, but it took me a long, old while to find this place. This troll is just annoying me. If you come to Labyrinthian on the map, you'll find it during the story quest anyway. If not, you'll find it during the uh, College of Winterhold quest. It's just here. More files there. Skybound altar. You get like white running over here. You, you'll come to Labyrinthian at some point. You will. Okay. Let's kill this frost roll quickly. But hidden away in Labyrinthian is a secret maze that took me a very long time to find. And you can get a unique item that you can only find here. And also with a uniquely styled location as well. So yeah, that's Labyrinthian. And over here we have a secret area known as Shalador's Maze. So we can enter and begin. Now it's important to note real quickly, you're going to notice that my game's a bit bugged because I haven't updated um, the script extender for a while. Um, because I want to make this video, basically, and I didn't update it. The thing's going to be a bit laggy. I apologise in advance. So, instantly you'll find a burned corpse on the floor and four weird-looking stones on the ground. If we walk towards it, staffs will appear. On the body is a soul gem and a note. And it reads as follows. Enter twice, exit only once. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows the way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. So let's take all the staffs. And as tempting as it is to go straight in, we're not going to do that. We're going to go round the side, actually. Now feel free to explore the surrounding areas here. There's some chests, I believe, and there's a leveled mace you might be able to find as well. We're going to come around here to the word wall. Now... If I'm not mistaken, this world will, will never appear on the shout missions. So, you know, you get a letter from a friend, or if you go to the Greybeards and ask them for help, this will never appear. As far as I'm aware, it will never appear. So, there's this secret shout wall there. Also has these unique shutters that act almost as chests. And we see a sigil. Sigil of illusion. Now, we did get staff, so we're going to use them, as you can see here. Taking a while to load, that's the Skyrim extender there. And you get the Staff of Fear, the Staff of Firebolts, the Staff of Mage Light, and the Staff of Repulsion. Now, because I'm an idiot and I haven't played this game for a while, I didn't set up my favourites, and now I can't set up favourites for some reason. Oops. But you'll hear a noise, and the chains will disperse. Again, you can open all the shutters if you wish, but I'm not going to. Pulling the chain just closes the shutters behind you. I don't see the point of that. Now, there are a few good shutters. Most of them are pointless and provide no benefit at all. But some of them are good. My Ebony Mail going to kill this one? Yeah. I will show you the shutters that um, are actually worth it. But feel free to go around and open all of them. Now, this maze is a, it's a very special type of maze. I can't remember the actual name. I believe it's an actual name for these sorts of mazes where um, there's only one way you can go. And I can't remember the name of it, actually. But look where else you can find some bloody rags. Fantastic. Now, I actually forgotten. It's been a while since I've forgotten which, which one actually is good, so I will open them all, I think. But yeah, this is the sort of maze you can only go in one direction. And I'm, I'm certain, I'll bet my life on it, there's a special name for these sorts of mazes. Some gems there, and I'm... Never come here at the beginning of the game, I've never done that. But I'm certain you can, although... I probably wouldn't, because... I'm at level 47, I'm playing on a higher difficulty, but... This place is no joke. You'll see what I mean at the end as well. There's only one Ice Wraith in this whole maze as well. There's also a skill book here. Conjuration, yep. 
I've leveled up as well. I'm gonna save that level up for a tactical level up, a uh, tactical health up, sorry. That's what I call it. It's impressive. These are worth a lot of money, so that's good for early game if you get one. I'm not sure about the loot or whether or not it levels, so you'd need to check that out and tell me yourself. Spell tome. Get lover. Might as well take that extra one out. And now we're coming to the next sigil very shortly here. And the staff they provide you are again um, to use in the quest, of course. You don't need to. You can use um, if you have healing hands, for example. Heal other for some reason just doesn't work. So I can show you actually. I'll show you. So go to books to heal others. Or heal others, sorry. You can use healing hands as well, they're just so heal other. The one the tome I just got, it will not work. However, if I use But that don't work either. How embarrassing. Okay, fine. We don't need to use the staffs, is what I'm trying to say. You don't you don't need to use it. You can use a repel undead or whatever. And then the grates will appear. And of course you can use the staffs. That's the whole reason you have the staffs. And you can notice here a conjuration rune stone. You can't do anything with it. And we have another exit there. So do you remember what the, the note said? So you exit twice, leave only once. This staircase will reveal itself and we can go up. And you're gonna notice that we, once it closes, we are back at the world, word wall over there. We're gonna turn right to where we originally came in. And also it's fun to point out that you could you could come here, grab the staffs, and just leave if you're early game. That's a, a possibility as well. You can do that. Look at Skiva. We can use Firebolt in order to open. No, I'm not. How I am doing terribly. I don't think I have anything on here. And if I do, I can't see it. So we're gonna use this staff to give us the alteration stuff. Oh, excuse me. We use the staff of alteration to open these grates and continue on. I'm not going to open any more grates. I'm, I'm almost certain there's nothing else here. It's worth it. So we're going to run to the end of the maze now again. So basically it's rinse and repeat until we get to the end, but we'll have um, different rune stones or sigils in order to proceed. So continue forward. I should probably, probably find out the name of the maze and then put it in the video. because That's going to bug me all night if not. And I won't be able to sleep and it's your fault. All right, so we're going this way. Okay, so now we have a destruction. We can use a spell. Now that opens up. Before I do anything else, I'm going to put my great sword on, actually. And now you'll notice a weird orby eye of Sauron, almost. And it says, to trial of conjuration. I'm going to enter that. And be confronted with a Dramora. Now, he is leveled. He can be a very low level, or he can be a very high level like he is now. We're going to hit him once. And twice. Sorry, sorry, Lionel, we're not doing the three times. He's now going to appear. We're going to take him out, actually. Uh, apparently, I'm not. This is why I saved the level up. Instantly heals me. Come here, you fool. So now we'll take out the Atronox. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once he's dead and the metaphorical smoke is cleared, we can loot our Remora friend and find on his corpse the item in question we're after the well, we can take the data part two mm. the diadem of the savant all spells cost five percent less now it's not a very good item it's not but if you can acquire early game then it's good but it's a collector's item that's all it is we want it because we're collectors of rare rare goods well, here you go the diadem of the savant right there that's going to be that's one of the Skyrim secrets I want to share with everyone, just in case. Because there still has so many players in this game, and not everyone knows about this. Like I said I've been playing it for years, and I never knew about this, so I just, just decided to go on a massive hunt. Also, if you have Whirlwind Sprint activated, you can skip a lot of this maze. A lot. Just jump in. 
and find your way around. Almost killed me. How embarrassing would that have been? But a perfect way to end. <laughs>